Okay, let's talk about this Curry E-Zip bicycle and some of the changes, modifications we had to make to it in order to fit our new battery that we made. Now, if you notice in the back here, this is what it looked like originally. And that's the fitting where the battery sits into and it drops down on top of these two brass pieces there. But that comes up quite a bit. When you remove that, then you can get some more room here by having this and there's a little drop down right here. When I look at these YouTube videos, I notice that most of the people after they've completed their battery, they don't really think too much about the box that they hold it in. I mean, some people make a very elaborate box and they make it out of aluminum or something that's conductive that I didn't think that would be the way to go. So I told you back in video 10 that I would be making a box to house the battery. And this is the way it turned out. So pretty simple box. The dimensions, though, are very critical in order to fit this thing in. When I decided to build the battery, and these two parts right here are going to fit over this bar right here, which is why they're like that. They're part of the support for that. These aluminum channels that you see are to reinforce the box because you saw how flimsy the box was I built for the soldering. So that really enforced it very well. And I glued it with this stuff, GE Iron Grip, that you see right there, and kind of messy. It's silicone, but it did work. It did hold it on there real tight, trying to glue aluminum onto wood, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. But it worked, it's nice and tight. Took a lot of cleaning afterward to get it to look halfway decent, but the dimensions of this thing turned out to be pretty critical to be able to get the battery in there and to be able to fit the battery box within the walls of those two supports there for the uh, battery holder. But it worked out well and so you just basically have to slide it in there. See, it fits in tight. And when it fits in there, you see, notice that this fits down in real tight in that. And it won't allow it to pull out simply because the inside edge of those will come out. But you notice a little loose, but that's all right. Because what this rack has is this little piece right here and this piece right here. This is the cap that I built. It's kind of funny looking because it's got a couple cutouts on it. This part right here is provide a kind of a rain cap for the cable when it goes through there. But once this goes on top of here, that fits nice and tight. That is nice and sturdy once it's in there. If you can see how I'm shaking the bicycle and the box isn't going anywhere. So it's a very sturdy arrangement once you get it in there. It actually fit a lot tighter than I thought it would. So that works out well. Now the trick of this thing pull the top off is that this cable that used to run down and under. I took it off, I cut it, put the XT90 on it, put some of that liquid electrical tape around it with the male ends. The battery has the female ends and the male end go right to the controller. But if you notice this when I put the battery in, I wanna show the battery here for a second. And there's the completed battery. I now have Kapton tape over all the connections. But the reason 
that I made this eight wide, so there's 16 cells in a brick here, is so that it would fit and I could get more cells in here. More cells this way. Some people take these apart, and I'm going to have a link to DRK Angel on Endless Sphere and his website. And he t opens these up, takes out the lead acid batteries, and replaces them with the lithium ion. So, if you'll notice, this box it fits very, very tightly in here. very snug so that the space that I have on top and I'll probably wind up cutting these wires down a little bit they don't need to be quite as long as what you see here at all <laughs> once that's down in there then I have my female plug for the meet the plug that comes from the motor and I can fit that in there and I've got a little cutout right here so I can fit that down in there it fits nice and snug keep the water out of there fit my cap over the top Nice and snug there. I'm going to have a cable run over here, and that will hold that down and have a lock on it to lock it in place. But that's not going anywhere. One of the reasons from one of the YouTubers as to why his battery caught fire is because it had, it was too loose in the box. If you notice when you look at some of Renault's videos, he just throws it into a plastic tub. His original batteries he just threw in a plastic tub. Some of us Later batteries he built, he just put in a uh, little blanket or a jacket or something and kind of packed, tried to pack it all in there and stamp the lid on it. And really was not that tight. And you notice in a later video, he had some loose connections. And you just wonder if because going over hill and dell and through all the bumps and everything, if he didn't uh, cause some of the problems he was having with the loose connections because of that. This fits tight. I mean, this is as tight as it can possibly be. So I'm going to zip tie that together right there real easily. Any rain that gets in, it can't make the corner. It's going to drip off of here, and you won't get water inside the box. So that's the purpose of the box, and I believe it's going to work out very well for me.